In today's increasingly digital world, the value and convenience of physical things has been coming under more and more scrutiny. An example of this that can be pointed to is the changing presence of physical iterations of media in pop culture, meaning DVDs, CDs, books, tapes, most interestingly, vinyl records. What makes records stand out? In the past year, CD sales are down 48%, DVDs 23%, books and cassettes have been up and down in the past decade, yet in the age of streaming and online downloading, records have just had the highest sales numbers in history. All right, trends in the last five years. Um, well, we, we were already riding on a wave of resurgence of vinyl. Um, CD sales were way down, vinyl sales were way up. And in the last couple years, it's really exploded. And CDs even made a small comeback. Um, but vinyl was far eclipsed at maybe, maybe 90, 10 or 80, 20 in sales of vinyl versus CD. Vinyl has totally ruled it. And after COVID hit, it was even more vinyl. And last Christmas was the biggest vinyl sales ever in history in the world, I guess. <laughs> so what I've read. So we've kind of stuck through the whole digital downloading thing. We said that vinyl was the best thing to buy. We still stand by that. So, so over the last several years, there's been this big resurgence of vinyl. I mean, first off, I don't know if vinyl ever went anywhere. I've always had my turntable and, um, and used it most days. Um, but this big resurgence, I think a lot of it, you know, has to do with trends, just like anything. Uh, it's very, for you know, for lack of a better word, trendy right now. And people always want to be in the know and be in front of trends. The idea of trendiness can be synthesized to George Simmel's analysis in fashion, where he discusses the duality in society between distinction and imitation through the lens of fashion design. This concept that's widely seen when discussing vinyl is a possible explanation as to why there's been such a steep increase in sales recently. So what explains this resurgent trend? What makes a big, clunky, fragile record more appealing than a simple online download? Well, according to anthropologist Daniel Miller's Theory of Things, a lot of it has to do with the idea that the things that we as humans buy, make, and sell become parts of us and help to formulate our identities. So I, w I was raised by, um, well, both my parents were musicians and always had records around. So just from being a toddler or a little kid, I always had records at my disposal to play. But yeah, I started out with, um, you know, Beatles records and Led Zeppelin records and all that. And um, that was going to see bands, searching for records. That was always part of my life. And now with, with this job, it's what I think about like night and day. But like, even when we're not open, we're, we're thinking about records to carry in here or searching for records to carry in here. So yeah, that's, that's what I eat, breathe, and smoke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that an object can hold sentimental value and the implications of the memories and passions and lifelong dreams built in it are key to why vinyl records are kept and collected so affectionately by people. The physicality of these objects makes them more real and more meaningful. I think a lot of it goes back to wanting to have physical media, tactile touch, the record album, which is art onto itself. Um, but it's just kind of woven back into like the, the pop culture of today. When something's physical or tangible, it changes our relationship with it. Conscious of it or not, like it or not, our relationship and the way we interact with it is diff is totally different. People, people seem to be more interested in physical media right now and having collections, and as well as having side by side digital collections. Um, I still talk to people like casually once in a while who are all digital, and for me that's kind of depressing to say, okay, let me let me check out your collection, and if they just pick up their phone or their iPod and they, here it is, and here, you know, it's it's not the same experience as. The getting a band's record and looking at the art, looking at the sleeve notes, interacting with it as you play it, finding songs you like. Um, I totally understand how people are 
just do digital just as a disposable thing if it doesn't really mean anything to them if they don't care about collections so we're kind of at peace with it you know. now streaming which i i love streaming and i thoroughly enjoy it and streaming music and digital music has gotten so much better throughout the years um but streaming it's out there in the cloud it's yeah i don't even know where to point where it's at it doesn't exist in a tangible form it's it's like ethereal it's just out there vinyl's tangible you can hold it and that makes a difference in the experience it's tactile you can see it that makes the experience different the media is perceived by the medium by which it's sent and that's what you get with vinyl is you get that experience to participate with the music. It's clear that when talking about the differences between having something physical and having a digital copy of it, for some, passions are highly involved. This begs a question that was discussed in the book Compact Disc by Robert Berry. He addresses the physical media is a zombie medium that, to a certain extent, is being kept alive by collectors and enthusiasts with emotional connections. Uh, yeah, we, we do have a whole ton of regulars. Um, we've had people who've come in here since we've started in the late 70s. We have people who've come in for the last 10 or 20 years. Uh, we've got a lot of regulars who have moved out of state or out of country, and they come in to visit every time they come to visit here. So we're seeing a lot of that. Um, we do have some regulars that search for rare stuff almost every single day, or they come in looking at our bargain bins every single day. So that you know makes kind of fun, familiar faces all the time, and we could say you know point out things to them when they come in. Also, like hey, yeah, I think you'll want this. And in order to listen to a record album, you had to participate in a ritual and a process, conscious of it or not. You got on your bike or you walked because every record store, at least in my neighborhood, in you know in suburbia um, or in uh, the rural areas, was uh, you could walk there. And it was $5.99 for an album. And then you could meet. It was like a watering hole for like-minded people. People your age, kids your age come together, fan through record albums. Sometimes they had a used section, which was really good. Now you're participating in this process and a ritual, which I think is very, very important. And that's what vinyl does, is it makes you part of the experience. You got home and then you took that album out and my buddy says, no, 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 you're doing that wrong. You need to take the sleeve from the cover. My other buddy says, no, 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 no. You take the cover from the sleeve. It was all about the process of you were playing in the music. The story of physical media is one that is largely inconsistent. There are ups and downs in popularity and public opinion. Yet among the various types of physical media, vinyl stands out as more than just an item. To the communities and cultures who engage through most of their lives with records, vinyl is a part of who they are. It's created their destinies, forged their futures, and was always reliably a part of themselves. Through these communities, vinyl has taken on a new life. Its popularity is a trend soars. Now to those who know, a record is more than a trend, more than a fad. It's a trusting companion with a story to tell and a future to forge. I love streaming. It is faithful, it's reliable, it's always been a good friend to me, it's always been there. But vinyl, comparatively speaking, would be my best friend. It's almost like we grew up together. Or at least when I grew up, it was waiting there for me. Vinyl is just a pressing of sound. And once we were able to do that with vinyl, we were able to own it. And ownership makes a difference in the experience. We were able to go home with it. We could catalog it. We could archive it. We could listen to it uh, at our own discretion. And that's what vinyl did for us.